Hello, the internet, and welcome back to the live stream. It is Sunday, the 28th of July, 2019. Today, I will be live for 58 minutes. Wow, it has been a hectic... Well, for me, it's been a hectic couple of days, but for most of the planet, it's a hectic day. We'll get to that why, and that's the reason the discussion topic is what it is today. We want to talk about what went down and how we can, I guess, how we can deal with it. But before we get to that, I want to look back up the chit chat and say hello to the internet, because I did break the chat this morning. Hello, the internet. Uh, me and Travel Jet Setter were having a good chin wag. No one else was there for a while. It was just the two of us. And then Benny Crawford joined in. Benny Crawford said good morning or good evening. I appreciate the uh, ambiguity of the hello. Could be anywhere, wherever we're playing. That's what I love about the internet. And I am feeling good. He asked me how I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a little tired. i got to be honest. After that happened, um, I relaxed last night and I watched a Jack Nicholson film. Um, <clears throat> what was it called again? So one where his, uh, his wife dies and he's an old man and he's trying to go through his steps of... What is that? I, look, to be honest, it wasn't a very good film. Um, it went on for too long and I had other things on my mind, but it was good to just lay back, had some wine, had some salt and vinegar chips and just kind of forgot about the drama, if you like. So I feel good, but I feel tired. And I was sleep talking last night and I want to I want to play you some sleep talks. One in particular where I'm talking about my DLive replay. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, and then Benny Crawford, yeah, we had a chit chat. Um, he's having trouble understanding DLive. He's just gone on there as a consumer, well, as a consumer right now. He may be a creator at some point, but he's just saying, yeah, he's just getting, getting your head around that place. It is, it is a little tricky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. It's first time you go there. You're like, what is all this? How come this isn't simple? How come this isn't cleaner? It is, it does look a little cluttered the first, first few times you're in there. Um, this is normal. I said, yeah, perfectly normal. You'll create. Yeah. Okay, cool. So there we go. Me and Benny had a bit of a chin wag. Um, he's found another artist on there and he's chatting with that person. That's really good. I think that's what this platform or the DLive platform is all about. There's really creative crew on there doing cool stuff at the base level. That's what I love about it. Um, and I also enjoy that it's new and we have the chance to sort of be with it. And as it grows into something bigger and better, we'll be there from the get go. I think that's pretty important and pretty special. That's why I encourage everybody to get over there straight away. Um, and then Mindy joined us. G'day, Mindy. Crazy D Live last night. Yep, totally. We'll get into it. And Tim, Tim, Uncle Tim joined us. How was your sleep? You get 4.5 hours worth of sleep, dude. I could not function on that. I could not. I could not coordinate myself. I start walking into walls and stuff. If I if I don't get eight hours, normally it's between seven to eight. But if I don't get that full. Like last night I didn't, I got about six and a half and I'm bumping into walls now and I'm, my headspace doesn't, doesn't coordinate the vicinity around me. It's really strange. I could not do four and a half hours sleep. No way, no way, no way. Uh, normally prefer eight hours, but just a few months that's gone past, I haven't been able to. Be kind to yourself. Yep. Be kind to yourself. Get more sleep. That's Benny Crawford's suggestion. I completely agree with that. Beyond Beauty. Hello. Hello, Beyond Beauty. How are you going? Uh, Northrop MJ, Michael, good morning, Michael, how are you going? Now, should we start cheersing? Michael, you just popped in, I should cheers that. The others have been chit-chatting already, but Michael, good to see you in the Gives A Minute YouTube stream. Paula, good morning from Berlin, how are you? Or oh, good evening for Paula, how are you going? That cheers is for you, Paula. Hendrik, Hendrik Eber, he's on the DLive watching Worthy Foodie to be less ambiguous. Worthy Foodie's cool, we, we really enjoy watching her over there. Um... Salt and vinegar chips for the win, Mindy. What flavors or what brands have you got in, in your hometown? Because that's interesting. I've had, we, we've got a really, really good brand here called Red Rock Deli, balsamic vinegar and vinegar, uh, balsamic vinegar and rock salt. And my goodness gracious me, they are the best salt and vinegar chips. In fact, that's what I had last night, half a bag of them. The other, the end of the bag, I already had the first half last, uh, last weekend. Um, Travel Jet Setter saying hello, Hendrik. Yeah, no one. okay, so here we go. We are up to speed on the chit chat. Everyone's up to catch the speed. Wow. So let me roll you this uh, Sleep Talk, right? So there's this app called Sleep Talk Recorder. 
I've always got to turn my brightness down on my screen so it doesn't overexpose. But this is, this here is what, um, the, these are the sleep talks I've recorded over the years. And if you if you go, like there's plenty of them, right? Like I've, I've been recording myself talking in my sleep for, for pretty much since 2013 or something on this very app. And so what it does is you put it on your on your bedside table, you hit you hit record or you hit what is it? Um you hit go, whatever the go, I can't remember what it is. And and then it records all night, but then what it does is it doesn't store the whole thing, it deletes it must have a buffer and it mustn't only record when there's, like if there's no noise, it won't record. So if, if you start moving the bed sheets, it starts recording. If you start snoring, it starts recording. So if you start talking, it starts to record, but it come, sometimes it misses just the start of it. I think that buffer should be larger, but they haven't, they haven't updated this in forever. I bought it, they haven't updated it. Um, so sometimes you miss the start of it, but this one, I'll go make sure the volume's cranked. I don't know what I was thinking here. Um, I might even just go here for this. No, I won't. I'll just leave it there. It doesn't matter. Here we go. Check this out. What's my replay? Yeah, my replay. My reply. I've got the reply replies. We'll give that four gives a minute. Sticky little sticker there for gives a minute. Thank you. Oh, it's like the D Live has come across. The sticky little, uh, you know, you know why I mentioned the sticker because that's the last thing that we kind of discussed on the D Live last night. The stick, the sticker that um, cra um, crazy for K um, crazy for K Man made of my head. He made a, a sticker, a GIF, but he actually used an image of me inside the GIF, and everyone's been posting that on my D Live, and that must have been in my head. That's where this came from, and I got heaps more on here, folks. If you if you there's one here which I record, and by the way, that one was recorded last night at 2.48 a.m. or this morning. I just see this one here. It's about Casey Neistat, and this was recorded on Sunday the 7th at 7 o'clock in the morning. So this is just before I've woken up. I, f I forgot about this one. Let me just play this one too. you got a lot of shit to do. But you're walking me through all this cure mixtapes and... that's kind of strange i don't recall that one if you want me to hit some more up i'll let the chat decide but there's a couple i mean there's a whole bunch in there but we can get into it if you, if you want to hear more let me know um oh does she uh hendrix says um she says hello ben on she made sure to let you know oh that's nice of her worthy foodie she's a beautiful beautiful streamer Great person too. Uh, there you go. Well, I don't know her personally, but through the D-Live, uh, she seems like a nice person. Let's get onto it. Yeah, let's get into it. Yep, cool. Okay, I see you. I hear you. Um, yeah, hit him. Uh, ben and boy, boy. Ben and boy, bye. I wish there were stickers here. I love that sticker. Yeah, Hendrik, how cool are the stickers? I, I keep calling them gifts. They're not gifts. They're stickers. Using his sexy voice in his sleep. Yeah. When I... um, No, I don't want to talk about that. Uh... That voice, I know where that voice comes from. It's it's my, it's my um, uh, international sleeping accent, if you like. I don't know. I don't know why I developed, but but I, I talk. I don't talk that way outside of sleep talk. And as you can see, there's plenty of them. You know what else? There's plenty of surfing. Welcome back to the super, super quick, quick wave, wave a day edit. <laughs> whoa, whoa. That's really steep there. And speaking of steep, I took off on some waves today that were probably the steeper waves I've ever had. Surprised myself, but I don't want to toot my own trumpet. You decide. There is more swell. This looks like a nice ride. After all of that, trying to find the best bank, first ride I get, close out. So I could have gone anywhere, right? And those two dudes have now left. Yeah. 
That's two closeouts. One right, one left. I should have been taking that. I'm too busy chit-chatting. I want to get a nice ride. Please, would you like to help me? fast and powerful. I ended up coming off in front of my board, beachside, and when I popped back up, my head hit the board, not hard, but it's always the, uh, it's always the frightening thing. You don't know where you are in the water when you pop back up. I'm gonna try to do that slower from now on, coming back up. And uh, that was fun, that really psyched me. Some steeper, bigger waves, not very long rides, but steeper takeoffs, more power in the waves, there's more swell around, and everyone's having a great time. Now, while I go and have an even greater time, gonna have a Jax, you guys can go back to the live stream. <laughs> steep down there, no, that's way too steep. You're gonna fall over, come back off the edge. What are you doing? No, oh, no. Okay, you're on your you're on your own. I'm I'm live streaming. I bet I bet I'm back as well. If if I'm if I'm back and you've distracted me, I'm going to be extremely upset. Yep, I told you. Get out of it. Hello, hello, the internet. How about those takeoffs? A little on the steep side, some of them. Probably the more um, powerful waves I've hit this wave a day season. I just wish they were longer. And I also think when I take off on a wave, and Benny Crawford, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm still going straight down the wave. I need to straight away hammer to a side, right? I feel like some of those I could have possibly tucked under a lip had I have gone hardcore to an angle, to an angel, either possibly the right, the left wasn't really working. But um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's up to the sandbanks as well, of course. The sandbanks have to be working for that, for that wave to continue the roll. In the chit chat, what's going on with Captain Bastos? What have you done to your knee, dude? You, you jumped into a pool and your knee popped? from the water of the pool or you must have hit the edge of the pool right luckily it wasn't the bone or anything it's an inflammation around the goose foot where the hamstring connects to the knee bone i'll be on inflammatory crutches for about i'm not making light of the situation just whenever someone talks about anything anatomy wise where it's the <laughs> hamstring connects to the knee but yeah i hope you feel better dude but yeah what did you do man did you you must have hit the edge of the pool, right? You didn't just hit the water and that happened. Because far out, if that happened from water pressure impact, I'm out there surfing, My, 
I could easily have worse than that go down. Far out. Scary. It's a scary world we live in. How, how f not futile, but how um, temperamental our bodies are, really. You'll work it out. Yeah, I'm get, I, I, I'm, I feel like I'm getting there, Benny. I'm enjoying it. Hamish Ferguson in the house. Hamish Ferguson, this one's for you. The cheers joins for giving into the Gives A Minute YouTube chat. You get a cheers for that. Good to see you, man. Um, everybody's saying hello. Hi, all. Raw goes here in the house from Tasmania. I've always thought you were from the States. I don't know why, but there you go. How's Tassie going at the moment? But it's cold down there. Um, while that was playing, I have to say I did find an absolute cracking sleep talk. I was going through a few of them. Have we got anyone from the UK in here right now? Normally, uh, not normally, but sometimes we have Bar Barry's views up in the house. Um, great edit. Thanks, Mindy. Cheers. So uh, this, this literally references... I've called this one the golden nugget of time. And by the way, I know we've got a conversation to, to get into. We'll maybe maybe we'll go through some of these on the D Live. That's probably more of a space for it. But right now, uh, it takes lots of practice in both directions. I, I find it easier to go right off the bat, like to to hang ha, to hammer it right, but hammering left. Actually, the grab is easier on the left because you grab rail. But I, I don't know. I'm, yeah, we'll get there. Captain says, no, I was literally just walking around the edges in an above ground pool. Oh, to build up. A oh, you were doing a whirlpool. And that's and that's how you did your knee. I, that is a little embarrassing, man. But it's pretty it's pretty funny, too. Like, I can picture you with a whole bunch of people around you. Yeah, let's get it going. Everybody, everybody. Oh, everybody, come in. I've already had my swim. No, we're going to do a whirlpool. He calls it a vortex. We're going to do a vortex. Come on. But I've already swam three times. Come in. Come in. We need more people. And you get it going. You get it going. Ah, my knee popped. Damn, that's a little embarrassing, but kind of fun. So let me play you this one. It's called The Golden Nuggets of Time. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking here. Make sure the volume's cranked. Cranked, it is the volume, the golden nugget of time. Here we go. Yeah. So we're waking up there in the UK tomorrow, today, now, live, yesterday, tomorrow, whatever it's hit. Hits the golden nugget of time. Oh. I think that's it. Time. Time. Hits the golden nugget of time. What time was that recorded? That was recorded on Saturday the 5th at 2.54 a.m. So yeah, maybe if, if, if you want to hear more of those, how about this? Go across to my DLive channel. I put a linky poo in the chat and you can find the golden nuggets of time. We'll dig through a bunch of them probably tonight. And being a Sunday here in Australia, I'll be giving away my treasure chest. So all those dicks that come in and just say, open the chest, I'll be like, no. And then when they've left, I'll say, we'll open it in a little while. Cause we do open it on a Sunday, just coincidentally. By the way, folks, Stream number 58. This, if you are new here to the Gives a Minute YouTube channel, we are midway through. No, we are not. We are near the end of July. Now, what is July? It's live every day the month of July on the YouTube. Now, this is a concept discovered, founded, touched upon, reached under, grabbed by Mr. Danny Black from the channel Where is Danny Black? He is in the chat right now. I put a little linky poo to his channel. Go and give the, the man the love, the support, the gestures, the kindness, the goodwill. But also go and check his Facebook because he's doing Jew Live on Facebook. Now, yes, more sleep sexy voices. Yeah, I've got plenty. I've got plenty, let me tell you. Uh, far out and uh, some demented, demented sounds. Um, okay, there you go. Beyond, beyond your man wouldn't approve of that. Uh, okay, so what time are you planning to do the DLive? Today, today I'll be live on the DLive. Probably from, being that it's a Sunday afternoon, I'm, I'm going to jump on at about 3.30, I'd say. Have a few beers, um, maybe some wine. May I've got no Jack left, but uh, maybe we'll dig into some beer skis. Hey, before we jump into the topic of conversation, I just want to follow on slightly from not yesterday's stream, the day before when we talked about skateboarding in the Olympics. Well, coincidentally, Transworld Skateboarding, the biggest magazine on the planet related to skateboarding, it's been around since I was a kid, 
um, it brought out or it came out with a story about this. Uh, they, they wanted to sort of dig in fact or fiction and a- ask some questions to the USA team. What do they call them? The team manager of the competitors from the USA team that are going to be going into the Olympics. They just asked some questions. Is this fact or is this fiction? And he answered them. And one of the questions was about the pot smoking. So I just think we should have a quick read of this. Um, Let's just see who this guy is first. To separate some of the common fictions and misconceptions, I talked to Josh Friedberg, the CEO of Team USA Skateboarding and the skate director at World Skate, the International Olympic Committee. Now, there's a bunch of questions here we don't want to really read about, but the one that's really concerning in regards to our discussion, fact or fiction, there will be drug testing and any skater who has ever smoked weed is so screwed. The verdict on that is fiction. That's incorrect. The fact is THC is prohibited in competition. However, outside of competition, it's you're good to go. You can have whatever you wish. Now, he clarified that by saying THC leaves the bodies at different rates. And we, we know that because we dug into it and we discovered it. Um, he recommends that people who don't People don't smoke eight weeks before any potential events that would be subject to anti-doping. So what we're reading here is that the Olympic Committee has said, we are going to be drug testing. We don't care that it's part of your culture. We don't care that it's part of this this sport. We are going to be drug testing, hands down. Um, so if you are into the uh, pot and you want to compete at the Olympics and you've been pre-selected and you're in America, the recommendation here is eight weeks before competition, eight weeks before anything to do with the thing, don't have a toke. There you go. We clarified that. I thought that was important just to bring that back to to sort of give some extra boost to the conversation topic. There you go. Um, travel, it's ASMR. We are good. Beyond Beauty, okay. Danny Black's in the house. G'day, Danny. How you going? Travel Jet Setter, Beyond. Hey, Danny, everyone. I'm not married. He's in He's in the chat. There you go. There you all. He's there. Okay, cool. Uh, cheers, Travel Jet Setter. Eight weeks. Yeah, eight weeks without having a smoke. If it, I just As I was reading that, I was just thinking about the Olympic Committee saying, we are going to be dope testing for, for anybody that wants to compete. And I was thinking, I just, I just had a fleeting thought. What are the, um, what are the sports... F- uh, is there is there a I don't know how to how to say this, but is there like a Rastafarian sport? Like you know you know how like it's commonly it's commonly accepted that the Rastafarians smoke pot and they they smoke it like we breathe the air, right? And they think of it as a gift from from God to bring people or bring their people closer to their God. So what about these athletes that pretty much live off the stuff? Like how? That just that just means that none of those dudes can compete in anything, in not just skateboarding, but anything in the Olympics, right? If if you're if you're of the Rastafarian faith, you you will never be able to compete in the Olympics, right? Yeah, they will not complete their runs. Benny Crawford, eight weeks. Yeah, eight weeks is pretty stiff. The Rastas are sprinters. Yeah, they're all runners, aren't they? But they like what what do they do? Do they just not smoke anything? Eight weeks out from from competition? That doesn't seem right. They can't do that. They're all sketchy. Um, Travel, you are a mess. You know I got jokes and never tell the truth in chats, right? I'm not following. Now, uh, what's going on here between Beyond Beauty and Travel Jet Setter um, is kind of similar to what happened last night on DLive for me. Now, just to fill in the backstory, and, and this is the topic of discussion, and we will open the chat lines ASAP on this one because we had a... We had a discussion yesterday and uh, just at the end of the the stream, it was decided that we should open the chats at 30 minute mark. So the call in lines. So if you've got something you want to say, fire it up. I'll actually pump the Discord link in there. That's the Discord link for today. If you are coming in, I'll open the lines at at the 30 minute mark in about five minutes. Um, Make sure you mute the freaking stream like I didn't do the other day when when I started my stream. Mute the stream, have headphones and a microphone. That's all you need to, to go into that live chat. I'll jump in there in five and we'll go from there. But what happened on DLive, if you didn't see it, so there's a feature called hosting and that, so DLive can either put you on the front page, which they've done for me now three times on the front page, or as part of a verified partner. So you've got you've got levels in DLive and, and the first level is nothing. Like everybody, everybody starts on nothing. And once you get to 200 followers, you can apply to be an affiliate. That's the process I'm in right now. I've applied to be an affiliate and I'm waiting to hear back yay or nay. After that affiliate 
goes to the next level. Once you're at the next level, you can do what's called hosting. And it's it literally is what it sounds like. I go on to the DLive and I'm like, well, it's 9.30. I'm not going to stream myself until 10.30. So for, for the first hour, I'm going to host and I go onto the platform and find someone that's doing some cool stuff. And I say to all of my viewers, here's my live stream, but it's not me. I'm hosting this person's live. So their live gets on my channel and they get access to my X number of followers. In my case, at this point, I can't even do it because I'm not at that level. But what happened yesterday, my stream's cruising along beautifully. I had all the regular crew in there chit-chatting. It was fun, having a good chat. Some crazy donations coming in. The, the the donation sound effects were flying off. I was, you're the latest giver. I was doing all my spiel. And everything was all fun. And then a little notification. Bloop, bloop. You've been hosted by Cutie, uh, the handle name Cutie, with 135 viewers. So her channel probably had... Let's say, I don't know, I haven't I haven't actually gone over to her channel and have a look, which I should do to, as a thank you, but I haven't. But let's say her channel has 500 followers. And at that point when she hosted me, 135 of them were watching her channel. So all of a sudden, those 135 people see the Gives A Minute D live stream on Cutie Stream, and a percentage of them jump across to my stream. Because what I do is I say to everybody, oh, Hey, Cutie's hosting me. Hey, thanks so much for the host. If you're watching on Cutie's channel and you're wondering what this is all about, my name's Gives A Minute, I'm this and that, blah, 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 blah. If you want to come around to my channel, you're always welcome in the chit chat. And of course, everyone came over and I was doing the cheers and the you're the latest. And basically I went from, I mean, I was at 300 and uh, 203 or something, 203 followers. And I went up to 300 followers in more or less that stream. Um, and the donations were flying in and, of course, with that element of amount of people, you're always going to get some amount of, people call them trolls, people call them, I personally call them dicks because they're dickheads. That's what they are. They You wouldn't do what these people do unless you were a dick. And so I don't like calling them trolls. I like calling them what they are. And a, a number of them came in. But the thing is, I was so busy delivering my content, I didn't even notice they were there. I didn't even, the chat was fanging along. Like first time ever, my chat's just been tapping the ceiling repeatedly. And I was like, I can't even, I can't even get to say, I can't even get to do my cheerses and my welcomes because it's gone too quick. So I put a five second slow on it. I'd already had a two second slow. I changed it to five second. And then I did catch someone commented saying, you, as in me, I need to ban people from this chat because if I don't, I can be removed from DLive. And I was like, what? That's as crazy as YouTube. What's going on? And I'm looking at it going, what What have I done? Like, I haven't even seen, I don't even know what's going on. I can't even read it. And this this is kind of like what um, um, Travel Jet Setter and, and um, Beyond were going through just before. I, I, I didn't even know what you guys were to, what you two were talking about because I've been delivering this spiel. I'd kind of missed the chat. So when that happened, I happened to look over it because I got a computer, a laptop down here, but my chat's on the screen there. But I looked down and I happened to see the the N word, right? Repeatedly written N like digger, 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 digger. And I was like, okay, I see what's going on. And I, my hand came from all the way out back delete and mute and then it's at that point that i realized i do need help here i need a moderator i don't want to have my channel banned because of some dicks that came from somewhere else um tokomo gaming he's been on my channel from the very beginning and i just saw him there and he was commenting and i said tokomo do, do you i said i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this without even asking you i made him a mod and then i said and dude if you don't want that you can unmod and I'll understand. I don't like, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's forever, but if you can just help me out right now. And then what Cutie did was she went onto the Discord in DLive and grabbed staff, Discord, uh, DLive staff to come back to my stream and they came in and cleaned it all up. Now, they did say to me, hey man, you know, we, we like what you're doing. We don't want this to affect you. There are some trolls here. We've got rid of them. Um, you're good to go from now. We'll keep an eye on the stream for the next half an hour or so, and you're good to go. Um, during that time, I ran out. I rolled super quick wave a day, and I ran out just to sort of take my headsets off. And I just I was in the bathroom, and I looked in the mirror, and I, I got to a point where I was like, is this me that's created this? Like, did I, do I, have I facilitated these dicks to come in here and do all this? 
I've always said people get a fair shot. With, with gives a minute, you get a fair shot. I'm never, I'm never going to come out and, and stop someone from saying something. I'm never going to come out and go this and that. I'm, I'm going to call it like it is, and, and you know that about me. I'll, if something happens, I will call it like it is. And I believe everyone gets a chance, everyone gets a shot. I stood there and looked in the mirror and thought, but do I want my gives a minute D live stream to be the place that facilitates this? And I, was, I, I kind of got a bit down about it. When I came back out, thankfully it had all resolved by that point and the chat was back to a regular speed. And I said to Tokomo Gaming, um, you know, I understand if you don't want to mod, that's cool, we'll drop it. But then also JD Max, someone who's been there from the long time, he suggested, dude, I, I've said, I'll mod for you, man. And I went, okay, JD. And I made him mod as well. Now, the question I have is, when do you think this needs to happen on a on a live stream on any channel. It clearly needed to happen last night on my D Live. I don't think we need that here on the YouTube just yet. I could be wrong. Um, we have seen some 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 dicks come in and they leave. You know, like that. I think that's the thing with D Live. Like, it's a good thing and a bad thing, right? So you've got an incentive to be there. So the, the troll has the incentive to stay there because they get Leno by being in the stream. The more you comment, the more the consumer accumulates Leno, the more my treasure chest accumulates Leno. So there's there's gain in it for everybody, right? Like my chest gets bigger. And at the end of the week, AKA today, that chest is gonna go out to the givers. So there's more incentive. There's actually plenty more incentive to spam it, really, because you get the points for spamming to a degree, and I get the Leno into the chest. So I can kind of see that it's 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 almost like it's built itself into a bit of a circle. Um, and people that aren't on DLive would kind of think, well, it's the platform's fault. If, if the platform's giving creators, uh, consumers, points to comment, then of course they're going to spam it to get more points. And if the platform's giving the creator the points to engage that chat and then give all those points out randomly to the to the consumers, then the platform's to blame. And that's why when I was in there, I was like, do I want to be a part of this? Like, I'm really enjoying DLive, but do I want to facilitate this kind of rubbish on my stream when it, I don't need that? Like, I've, I'm already sort of struggling, if you like, to find time to do anything myself this month, thanks to, to July and a wave a day, projects I've taken on willingly, but the DLive is an additional thing and I'm putting in a lot of time and effort into it, but do I wanna be the one that actually has, well, it happened on the Gives A Minute DLive stream and as that person said, I can get barred for that, but I didn't do anything. So I was like, I, that's why I had such a rough, like after that I said, I'm not streaming tonight, I'm, I'm done for the night, I'm gonna watch that Jack Nicholson film, I'm gonna drink a hell, hell lot of wine and I'm, just, I'm just going to not think about it. And of course I slept, talked and thought about it, but so let me, let me just, let me just re go through the chat that I've missed and then we'll, we'll open the call in lines. Cause I think this is a good, good discussion. And by the way, if you're thinking of calling in and you're a troll or and you're a dick, that'll be funny. <laughs> just, just saying. Um, okay. Looking back up. Uh, okay. They're all, they were not complete back into the rusters. There's sprinters, there's cricketers. Okay, cool. Beyond Beauty, ignore me, I will stop. See, I've missed I've missed all that. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, Paula says the IRC committee members should be tested for cocaine each morning. Okay. You know something we don't know, Paula. Um, okay, tra Travel Jet Setter and Beyond Beauty. I'm just going to ignore... I'm not doing it out of spite or anything. I'm just going to ignore your to and fro there because it's not relevant. And this, this is kind of what I said on DLive to those dicks. I said, whatever you're saying, it's not relevant to anything. So... Why do you want to do it here in the Gives a Minute D Live? Like they came, they came in with, and I and I, I got to say, I later on found out what the exact problem was because I got a DM on the Discord from someone involved with it. I'm not going to name names, but they came in and said this is exactly what happened, and this is why it happened on your stream. It's nothing to do with the Gives a Minutes, nothing to do with the Givers. It's completely separate. So just know that we are onto it, but it's nothing to do with you. And and what I'm saying is this conversation between beyond and travel jet setter is kind of similar it's like there's something there but does it relate to anybody except you two probably not so maybe don't don't hit it up and and look i'm guilty i'm guilty of that and i was told that Pusha studios told me directly keep this between you they said when i was remember i was spouting off in the chat at jay boston when he was a guest on their on their show and they got to the point where they said hey man this obviously is something between you and jay 
how about you keep it that way? And I was like, they're dead right. They're dead right. And I actually went and apologized, made a little video about it, apologized, made an apology to Jay. That's what I'm saying. Like, we're all we're all learning here. We're all getting something. We're all getting something. We're all going somewhere. But sometimes we need help. And moderator is it. Okay, so here we go. Um, no weed. Beyond Beauty. Raw goes. Yeah, I joined DLive as well. Good one. Good one. Did I give you my link? I did. No, I'll put it again. If you want to go and see the Gives a Minute DLive, it's in the chit chat. Um, congrats on 300 followers, by the way. Thanks, Hendrik. Yeah, dude, 300, man. My growth on DLive has been way quicker than my growth on YouTube, but that's a smaller platform, you know? It's going to always be a little bit quicker and a bit easier to get going, I suppose. Um, where is Danny Black? Your YouTube streams have turned into DLive promotion. Absolutely, yep, they have. And I've, I've acknowledged that. I've said, I, I came out saying, I'm not gonna in. I'm not gonna have D Live as part of my YouTube content. I'm not gonna have YouTube as part of my D Live content, and I've given all that up. That's completely wrong. I'm gonna promote both of them on both platforms, and they can both coexist because they're both completely different um, places. And I'm happy to, and I will continue to promote both. That's why half of you crew are over there enjoying it. That's exactly exactly right, man. You should promote yours, Danny. You should. You gotta get on the Tidy Labs. Get Tidy Labs together. Um, da -da 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 Raw goes, yeah, bro. I'll roast him for you, the racing gamer. Ah, no need for roastings. Let him, let him be um. Um, when you have a sizable number of views, you definitely need a mod. Okay, Raw goes, yeah. We're getting into the tip topic here. Robert and I did offer to help. Yep, I didn't see it, Hendrik. I didn't see the offer at all. It happened so fast. It just, it. You got to understand that when you guys are chatting, you're reading the chat. When I'm, when I'm streaming, I'm streaming, and I'm looking back and forward from the chat, but it's very difficult to catch everything. That's why the slow motion was on. It's not hard to pick the trolls, they are pretty obvious. Okay, any person can moderate themselves, some choose not to, Benny Crawford. I, ch I choose not to moderate my own chats, I gotta be honest, I believe people can have a crack. They can have a go. I'm not, a, I'm not adverse to that. Now, let's open up the Discord. Let me jump in the uh, Discord chat because that's where I've got to go as well. Um, so I am now in the call-in line. I'm in there, I'm gonna open up here. I'm gonna open up, give us a minute. If I go here, we should have, the chat is now open. If you wanna call in, you know the linky poo? I've put it again for anyone that missed it. That's the Discord chat in the chat right now. I do see Beyond Beauty in the house. She's there. Beyond, if you want to have a chat, you're, you're good to go. Um, assuming you've got your microphone and everything set up. Uh, I can see you don't have a microphone or a headset on, which is interesting. Um, but that's okay. I'll let you I'll let you get to get to your thing. And once you got there, just say good day whenever you're ready. I'll keep reading the chat. Paula says the less moderation the better. But if people are flooding bullshit, then of course, yeah. Yep. Uh, Michael, good day, Michael. Michael says mods are a solid idea, but some clear rules need to be in place to clarify what's in and what's out. In what regard, Michael? Like what would be in and what would be out in your mind? Just a just a, a, a question that I'd have. I can hear uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so just whenever, beyond whenever you want to jump in with anything, just speak up because I can see you've got headphones on and you've got a, you've got no headphones, but you've got a microphone. I see this. I see this. Um, I have experience. I can Hello? help out. Hello, Beyond Beauty. How are you going? Fine. Sorry. My headset wasn't working very well. I had to fix it. <laughs> That's okay. It sounds nice and clear now. I know yesterday you had issues with it, so or the day before. How are you going? Yeah. Good. Um, sorry about the conversation in the chat earlier. It actually had to do with your um sleepy voice thing so oh okay like, it was a conversation that continued on from that and so when i said ignore me i was just end the conversation so okay gotcha it gotcha. did have to do with that but i think like parts of it got missed going because your chat goes quick you have people in there talking so i think it gets missed yeah, that's and then it just got carried away. So that's, hey, you guys, it's that's totally. Hey, hey, travel, travel jet, setter. jet setter here. How you going, man? Hi, I'm good. Yeah, sorry, we were we got kind of got carried away in the 
chat. That's all <laughs> I good. I was jokingly joking with Beyond Beauty. Sorry about that. That's all good. I, I confess I missed it. And then when I saw it, it looked like you guys were, were going one for one off each other. And I thought... No, we were... I was joking around. Cool. Well, isn't this isn't this good? This is this is the best way to clarify uh, anything on the chat. If you can have the call in, and maybe maybe we should do this on the D Live as well. Call ins. What do you think? Like, could you imagine if if I opened up the chat? Well, I'm not. I. It's nighttime here when it's daytime over there, so I'm asleep when all that's going on. So. Yeah, I was just thinking in general, like if if. Do you does the chat here think that if you opened up a call in line, those dicks would actually call in, or would you just get a bombardment? Would that be another thing I've got to moderate then? You know, like just... oh, I think they'll call in. Right. I think you'll I get think them calling call in. in. They will definitely call in because um, <laughs> it was um, two months ago, and um, it was you know the people who I was dealing with. It was people was bombarding them with calls. They were going off on each other. They were cursing each other out in the call-in line, calling each other MFs and right. and all kind of other names. They were just cussing each other out and like th you know threatening each other. Yeah. And that was a yeah. voice call in line. This was a um, a voice call in line. Yeah. See, I don't I don't think I want to open that up to people. Um... I mean, as, yeah. as as you've seen here in, in this chat, Michael has suggested the rules have to be in place and have to be clarified, and they should be the rules that yeah. I make up. Um, and Northrump yeah. MJ says the racist stuff has to be blocked. Fair, very fair. Yeah, I just I, I wouldn't know what that. rules to set up though. Like I, I'll be kind of thinking. Can I tell you go for what it, I do on my channel? Yes, please do. Because. Um, you know, I have people that come into my channel that it's just like, oh gosh. Um, and I'm not one for blocking people out, especially because a lot of them are going to come back with other accounts anyway. Yep. Um, but I do have four mods because they're not all going to be able to be there at the same time. Yes. So I have four of them and they'll come in when they can. And if they're not there, then I can handle it. And the only stuff that really gets blocked is like the racist stuff. I'm yep. not going to deal with that or subjects that my mods know that I'm just not talking about. It's stuff that has nothing to do with me and I don't want to be a part of it. So I'm not going to deal with I, it. And if, oh, if yeah, I say absolutely. something, if I say something once and address it and say, I'm not going to talk about this again. And the people continue to try. Yeah. Then that gets timed out and if they continue after that they get blocked that's so fair. as long as yeah. you set rules with your mods and your mods understand right. that and follow it it's good but you have to pick people that like you know and trust because if you get somebody in there that you don't know and trust then it can go crazy too so that's you're, important you're saying you might have yeah. you might mod someone that actually doesn't follow your best interest and they might sort of let things they'll delete people and black people and do all kinds of crazy stuff to your channel so you want to make sure you have people that have your best interest yeah. as your mods, gotcha you know, so i think for the time for the time being i think tokomo gaming and um jd max they've been they're, they're, these are handles that i've recognized from the very beginning from when i first came on d live they were the, well tokomo gaming certainly he was there from the get-go so i feel very I feel very happy that he's in there doing that, but I don't want to burden him. And I and like I said, I made him mod without even asking. I just went, dude, I'm I'm going to mod you because I recognize you and I need help. Uh, and if you don't want it, then unmod yourself later on. Um, turns out he can't unmod himself. I've got to do it. But he said, no, leave it. I'm happy for it. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, something I, did, I saw I last night. Go ahead, Beyond. Um, so I'm sorry. Something I saw last night in um, your chat at the D live. Yes. Is some of the stickers that were being dropped um right after um the word <laughs> that yeah. was being used. Um there was a uh IRL streamer that was known for having huge amounts of trolls that would use that word and um some of the stickers that were being dropped were often used in his streams. So it seemed almost like the people that came in were like um, parts of his community. This is um, this is Ice Poseidon. Might just be, 
Yeah, they just might have been people that were like, because he's not as active as he used to be. So they might be bored and looking for new places to be. So it kind of seemed like he just kind of got a, a lot of them gotcha. that dropped in last night and did that kind of stuff. And usually they aren't too bad. They'll come in and they'll go away and they won't be back. Um, but you'll often get, you know, when your numbers get up or you get on the front page, you'll get stuff like that that'll happen. But it won't continue to happen right. over and over again. Well, that's good so. to know. Yeah, that's really good to know. Um, they did put me on the front page during that, during the host, I got put on the front page as well. It's like, is that a good move from DLive to, to promote what it's already being promoted to, it's already being hosted to 135 people and then put it on the front page as well. I don't know if that was the best move. Not, I mean, I'm not saying I don't want to ever be put on the front page again, but just saying it was already out of control and then it got really out of control. You also asked if it was something you did. Yes. And um, you were kind of worried about that. And I can 100% tell you that, like, I can go on a stream and be talking about church and get a ton of people come in and say the most negative things. So it's never anything you do. It's honestly people that just don't have anything better to do with their time. Yeah. So okay. don't ever take it personal. So. So. Yeah, but I'm, so, I'm gonna I hang up my so. call now, and I'm gonna hang up my call now and let you all chit chat. But I just wanted to say those couple of things. Thanks so much, Beyond Beauty. Cheers for calling in. We'll speak to you next time. Thank oh, you so much. Okay. Bye -bye. Talk to you later, Beyond. Go ahead, uh, Trevor. What have, what's on your mind? Um, so I kind of want to add in my mm -hmm. um, two cents worth into what Beyond Beauty was saying in the um, discussion of this um, conversation. Sure. Um, I think that it's important to have moderators, like with with cases like this, and even severe cases mm -hmm. of what I've witnessed and what you and I you and I have talked about sure. um, behind the scenes. Okay, because you know the people who I was dealing with. Okay. Yes. And so over there it can get pretty bad uh -huh. like we had i remember like multiple people were calling in they were cussing people out now the did you have a moderator going like, did you have a moderator I'll, 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 at the time um was i a moderator w were you were you using moderators at the time I, I was i was i was a moderator you were a moderator of someone at, else's at stream time. or of your own? Yeah, of someone of, of the person who you and I spoke about. Okay, okay. Okay. So what I And but 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 yeah, I mean like with the case like with what I with what I just explained to you about people calling in and spewing, you know, curse words and them just, you know, you know, cussing them out and saying they're going to do, they're going to hurt them and they're going to, you know, you know, dox them and, and all this craziness and then cussing each other out and, and just dragging each other pretty much. And so I, you know, I, um, um, moderated, you know, to prevent all that abuse and stuff from coming into the chat. Yes. Paula so in the chat says they come in swarms. Your stream gets posted yes, on 4chan yes. or the like, and they come yes. together. Is that what happened last night? I don't think that's what happened last night to me. Um, well, did I end up blocking the troll on the Discord, Hendrik? I didn't even see a troll on the Discord. Uh, see, that's the other thing. It, am I missing something big on the Discord? Because I didn't see that either. Um, I really, I've really got to hammer this point home uh, to, to the givers right now that if I miss something, it's never an intentional missing. Like I've I've gone back and watched my replays of my streams, not just D Live, but here as well, and I've seen a comment that I've I've literally read the comment in front of it, and then for some reason I've read the comment below it, but I've missed the the actual comment in the middle, and then I've gone, the whole chat doesn't make any sense because I missed that one comment, but it's never intentional. It's so strange how it works. Like you you have a concept of what you want to do on the stream and then you have the other element which is less and less these days but the tech hashtag tech is hard comes into it and you you're kind of wondering is the tech going to do what i need it to do so therefore you're kind of thinking about that you're thinking about the delivery you're thinking about the chat and then all of a sudden you miss something so i just want to stress again that it's never intentional for, from me 
Um, so, Hendrik, if you can alert me to who that is in the Discord, I'll, I'll check it out, man. Um, have you, you, do you see anyone There's, trolling in the Discord, Travel Jet Setter? I don't see anybody trolling there. I, I assume, man, I've been so busy trying to look for a damn job down here. <laughs> Fair enough. It's, I haven't really been paying attention. I'm not, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but that's the last thing no, on my mind right now. That's completely fair enough, man. Um, Beyond Beauty, the sticker no, I was no, referring no, to no, was no EBZ. I know the one. He and, and that's the guy that I said. After he posted that repeatedly, I said to him, dude, what is the point of posting that same sticker? We've seen it. We've seen it three. We've seen it four. We've, we've seen it 13 times. We've seen it 15 times now. And I said, I know there's a delay on the stream, so I'm going to let you keep going. But from now, I'm going to give you 13 seconds. And if you post that sticker one more time, you're getting banned. And I, I left it. We sat there and waited. Sure enough, kept coming, kept coming. I just went, hand came in out of the side. You're banned. And then, and then, and as um, uh, Paula said, the real drama comes when you block someone and they become fixated. It, it turns. Oh out- yes, that yes, yes, and I can give you full on experience on that. Yeah. Well, um, let, let me let me just give you a quick example of my own. There was another guy in the chat last night, and I, and you weren't on the D live, so you didn't see it, but he. He made a comment about Cutie, about the girl who hosted me, and I was like, and it was kind of similar to before. I was like, guys, what the what the hell? Like, what are you what are you making that comment for? It's nothing to do with me, nothing to do with my stream, nothing to do with the chat. Please not, you know, keep it to yourselves. And then he kept going, and I was like, all right, you're banned. And then he came in with a second account, and then he explained himself. And I said, dude, if you had have explained yourself before you did this, we'd all be good. But instead, you went in the chat and went off haywire. So I was like, okay, unban. And I got that wrong. So that's my experience. What about yours, your travel jet setter? Um, well, when someone, I'm gonna um, talk about my experience from YouTube. Um, one of the people from that crew that I told you about um, got banned. We, uh, I um, uh, uh, blocked that person on the YouTube chat and they came back berserk talking about you know uh, you know f all of us and y'all 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 h-o y'all h-o-e's ain't about right you know the s word and and you know like f all y'all and stuff like that and you know and it, it was multiple um troll accounts right that right. they had and they were coming into our into the chat and they even called in saying you know um they they called in um because they put the phone the phone number was put in the chat and they were they called in you know saying you know man man fuck your yeah, f y'all crew and you know and they were just calling in really going in and and cussing all of us out and i'm like i really don't care like travel jet dude, setter this is youtube what what would you recommend for me i know you didn't see the stream last night but you get the vibe of what went down going forward because i am going to be streaming this afternoon on d live in, in in approximately 10 hours or whatnot what what would you say how should i approach my stream this afternoon but given that this all happened and i think we've resolved it what what do i do to to best present myself coming back just set some ground rules like you gotta get more strict you gotta set very strict rules when it comes to your d life and i'm and i'm going to suggest that to youtube too to set some really strict guidelines because um you don't want it to go haywire again and you don't want your YouTube to go haywire again. Right. You want to set some very strict rules, like anybody that's going to be in here abusing anybody, even even in the chat, even in our chat right now, anyone that comes into your chat abusing anybody, they gotta go. Yes, yes. Simple. I see Benny Crawford said that, the things and, and being mentioned are everybody. not allowed in terms of, because including of terms myself. of service. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I'm, I'm including myself into it. If I say some out of pocket stuff, ban me. I'm, I'm being honest. Yeah. I'm being honest with myself. This is including me, and that should include everybody that I don't comes think, into your chat at the end of the day. I don't if think they're we're... in there abusing anybody in the chat or 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 disrespecting anyone in the yeah, chat. And I even don't... though we all know each other, then you know either you know they. You know, you talk to them on the side, 
DM but them. Travel Jack said, keep, I don't they think do it that's again, happened then yet. Block them. I don't think that's happened yet on the Gives a Minute YouTube stream. I've not seen anything like no, that in, in my chat yet. Uh, touch wood, we don't ever get there. And Paula, Hopefully I, I'm, not. I follow Paula's suggestion here. She says, um, I disagree. If you talk about rules and are strict, you attract the trolls. It's better just to prune them and don't react on the stream. That's kind of what I was thinking about. I, was, I thought, if well, I... yeah, not react, but to you know, but to set guidelines. Okay, I think, I think, like for anybody that's being out of line, just block them. I mean, that's just that, and that's you gotta have leniency. That's just it to keep to keep your platform, you know, how you want it. You gotta have leniency. Yes. I even, you know, I'm I'm doing that now. Okay. I'm doing that now because of my situation. You saw what happened to me. Yes. You saw exactly what went down with me. I am more careful with who I choose to talk to, who I affiliate with, who I become buddy buddies with on YouTube because of what happened to me. I got set up. Yes. Well, how, how about okay. this? How about this? When we come back on the D Live this afternoon, if if everyone, if if you guys are so, there, if the givers are there on the D Live, We'll we'll talk. Well, I'll be asleep. You'll be so. asleep. We'll talk about this together, and we'll come up with a with a plan of attack that'll be best served for the chat, and best served for the platform, and best served for me. There's three... because you can't have your 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 platform going haywire. Because if you have your platform going haywire, then you're ruining your reputation. Even I'm talking about all platforms. I'm talking about YouTube. Yes. And I'm talking about D Live. You will ruin your reputation. Trust me. Yes. It has happened to multiple people. That's exactly what multiple I want. Multiple people. That's exactly what I want to protect. And you don't want that. No. I want to you make sure. Want your... I want to make sure that we have a, a, a position and a. The, I want to make sure that the rule. I don't even want to use the word rules. I want to just make sure that the the guidelines and the guidelines the playing field right. is clear to everybody. So if we can do that together, that's going to win everybody. Beyond, be now, unfortunately, I know uh, Travel Jet said it cannot hear this, but that's the outro baseline rolling. What a topic of discussion! I hope we don't do this on D Live again ever. I'll see you tonight on D Live if you're there. Thanks for watching, folks. Wow, hectic. Oh, that's um, we're out of time.